So HTC just pulled back the curtain on a powerful all-in-one virtual reality headset to rival the MetaQuest Pro and other standalone VR sets. This shiny black helmet is called the Vive XR Elite and it's hoping to rock your face with 4K Ultra HD visuals, some funky modular design and all kinds of clever bollocks features. I'm home to review the HTC Vive XR Elite really soon, but for now here's all you need to know. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now the Vive XR Elite features a pleasingly balanced design like the MetaQuest Pro, with the battery pack positioned at the back end to counter the weight of the faceplate. It's a similar design to the recently released Pico 4, and I definitely prefer it to front-loaded sets like the MetaQuest 2, especially if you're planning on escaping reality for a good hour or two. The HTC Vive XR Elite weighs just 625 grams, so it's almost 100 grams lighter than the MetaQuest Pro, and it's impressively compact too. The face section is even skinnier, apparently, than the Pico 4's, which was already pretty dinky. And like the Pico 4, you won't find any top straps on the Vive XR Elite either, just those side straps. So no worries if you've got Buffon's hair or whatever, it won't get all f***ed up during a frantic bout of VR boxing. And HTC has packed some seriously high-tech custom displays into the Vive XR Elite as well, so you can expect stunning visuals when you're viewing supported content. We're talking dual 2K panels given 4K visuals overall, with a maximum 90Hz refresh rate for a smooth, more natural experience. The Vive XR Elite's 110 degree field of view matches the upcoming PSVR 2 and just about beats the MetaQuest Pro, so you shouldn't feel like you're viewing the VR world through a teeny window either. And HTC has also added in those wonderful adjustable biopters that I loved in the Vive Flow headset as well, so if you normally wear glasses, no worries. Once you've tweaked the sliders to match your peepers, you'll be able to view those visuals perfectly clearly without any kind of corrective facial wear. And HTC has also slapped on some bigger speakers compared with previous generations, which are allegedly improved across the board, including a good bit of bass boost and overall enhanced clarity, so you don't need to worry about slapping on some headphones either. The Vive XR Elite supports 6 degree of freedom head tracking as well as hand tracking, and you've got a depth sensor and a colour RGB camera positioned on that faceplate, so you can also enjoy mixed reality experiences on this headset. As for the Vive XR Elite's game controllers, well, these are the same ones used by the Vive Focus 3, so they'll be comfortable to grip even for a good couple of hours and should offer dependable tracking. But what about battery life? Well, according to HTC, the Vive XR Elite should serve up to around two hours of active use from a full charge, so similar to what you get from the likes of the MetaQuest. However, if you want to, you can actually remove the entire battery section at the back end and either replace it with a fresh fully charged battery or just leave it off and use the Vive XR Elite just like the Vive Flow VR goggles by plugging it into an external power source. Clever bugger. As for the actual games and experiences, well, HTC's online Vive port service does provide access to quite a few standalone titles these days. Not as many as the Meta Store, of course, or even the Pico Store, but you do have quite a few certified bangers in there which should play beautifully on the HTC Vive XR Elite. For instance, The Last Clockwinder is an addictive wee puzzle game that has you fixing up an ancient clockwork tree with the help of magical robot cloning gloves. And yeah, that sentence kind of makes it sound like I've been smashing some dodgy mushrooms, but it all does sort of make sense when you get stuck in there. Viveport offers up a fair few relaxing adventures to choose from, including Down the Rabbit Hole and Silhouette. Or if you need something even more chill to relieve all that tension, Flow Meditation is well worth checking out. Alternatively, if you want to de-stress by shooting stuff in the face over and over, you really can't beat a bit of Zombieland headshot fever. An action junkie should also love Runner, which has you hammering down an endless highway while blasting loads of baddies into teeny pixely chunks. And of course, if you want to desperately burn off all of those festive pies and New Year's bevies, well, check out Les Mills Body Combat. It'll have you piss and sweat from every pore and absolutely shitting off those spare pounds. The HTC Vive XR Elite also allows you to play Steam VR games and stream other PC VR content by connecting to your computer via a USB-C cable, while there's also support for wireless streaming over Wi-Fi 6E. You can also beam content directly from your humble smartphone to the Vive XR Elite as well, so you can enjoy some Disney+, Plus, some Netflix, whatever, right in your face. You can even play mobile games with the help of a Bluetooth controller. So that's all of the techie shenanigans and some of the experiences you can expect from the Vive XR Elite. But the big question, of course, is 
can you actually afford one? Well, the Vive XR Elite ain't exactly cheap, but the good news is it's not quite as prohibitively expensive as the MetaQuest Pro. In fact, the asking price in the UK of £1,299 is a clear 200 quid less than that Meta model. Hooray! And it's actually even better news if you live out in the States because the asking price there is just $1,099, although that is pre-tax because you guys were all weird and had that shit on after. So anyway, there you have it. That is the HTC Vive XR Elite in a nutshell. So as I say, hoping to slap one onto my baldy bont soon and get a full review on the go for you guys. But so far, what do you reckon? Be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe, ding that notifications bell, yada, yada, yada. And have yourselves a really wonderful rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.